Hey everybody, Chad at Turner's Warehouse here and I'm back with another Laser Pecker 2 video. And this one I wanted to try and laser the steel. They sent a little steel dog tag. So I'm assuming that this thing can engrave steel, which if it can, that's kind of crazy because fiber lasers, which engrave steel, cost a lot of money. So if it can do this, this is pretty impressive. So let's throw this on here, load something into the Laser Pecker 2. I love saying the name if you haven't noticed and give it a try. So I'm gonna lower the carriage all the way down. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're all the way down. Now the funny thing is, if I'm not in the right spot, I don't know how I'm gonna move that. I guess I gotta lift it up to move it. Uh, but I'm gonna connect the app. I'm gonna do something kind of ornate to see if it um, can do it in here. Let's say that's probably 20. We're gonna do a high res. Now in the app, there's a material selection and I can select steel, stainless steel. So previewing. I don't know what it's previewing. Show center. Maybe I just can't see it. Show center. Okay, so now it's flashing. So I lifted it just enough to, oh, there we go. It's cause it's metal, that's why I can't see it. Okay, makes sense. So I'm gonna get this lined up here. Okay, that is good enough. Hopefully you can see it there. Whoops, totally moved it. So I've got it set to metal, material, stainless steel. Let's up the power to 50%. And I don't know, there's probably a guide of what to use. Oh, you can do number of passes. Let's do five passes. We're gonna confirm and hit start. There are a couple of safe things on here, like it says, do you have your safety glasses on and other things? That's probably good to make sure that people are being safe, but you can see it like, probably not on the video, but I can see the laser in there moving. Whether it's actually engraving, I couldn't tell you. It sure doesn't look like it, but that's why we're testing it. So it's at 73%, but it's gonna do five passes because I have a fiber laser and with metal, you typically make multiple passes. So obviously, that's what I know, so that's what I'm trying. Okay, so we're on pass two, two of five. Now we're on pass three of five. I gotta be honest, I can't tell that it's done any engraving. So I might have something wrong here, or I might have to be like 100%, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I don't think I got anything engraved here. All right, so I must have done a power setting wrong. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a higher setting because clearly 25% was not enough. Let's go for it. Let's try 90%. So the app, it's a little clunky, but actually it works pretty well. It seems to be fairly user friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Let's do it. Uh-oh. I was a little off the piece. Okay, so I can see it actually is doing something in the form of engraving on the metal. So it is just a setting issue. I might have to increase the depth for what I'm trying to engrave. So it was just a setting, it is engraving. Uh, I'm actually gonna stop it real quick. I'm gonna move it. And I'm gonna up the depth. Let's go 16%, 15%, sorry. 15%, 90%, let's do it. So I think the key here for me, uh, the reason I wanted to try this is for engraving on pens and small items. Metal was not one of my considerations. It looks like from the settings you can do it might take a little practice, a little tweaking to see what you get the right you know, uh, results on. But for me, this is a pretty good deal for pen 
bodies, small stuff, boxes, uh, knife handles, maybe even knife blades if this works out. Um, so overall, I'm pretty pleased with this little guy and it seems to do a pretty good job. There are some slight lacking features in the, in the app and in the instructions. However, I'm not super tech savvy and I was able to overcome them in a, a minute or two. So anyone out there could probably comfortably use this if I can use it. So overall, I'm actually pretty positive on the Laser Pecker 2 and I love saying Laser Pecker 2. So um, yeah, I kind of dig it. I kind of would recommend this for pen makers because I really didn't think that this would work near as well as it does or near as easy as it does. Okay, so I don't know if the camera will even remotely pick it up, but it actually did engrave in the steel, but it's very faint. So steel might be a tough one. You'd have to go over it several times, I think. But if you're doing a softer metal like brass or aluminum or copper, it might work, uh, which we'll test in the future. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.